Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. Warlock. Shall be mine. I am your nightmare. Warlock Mir. We're looking to pressure. With the skull and mountain giants, that's about it. Nothing else is really that good. Lackey's okay. Not great though. We'd rather have a giant. We'd rather have the stone. Or not the spellstone, the weapon. The skull. Well, this is nothing of what we want. We're going second, so we can play a one drop on one. It's fine. Especially if he ends up being zoo, it's fine. Trust me. Near Fantastica, just subscribe to the back A team thing, man. Appreciate the support. Tap -a -tap -a. He, he, kept, so he has weapon, which means this is gonna be a tough game. He has like weapon, doom guard, faceless. It's like there's not too many three keep hands you have with this deck, and like. Oh, three got me. Either he missed the mulligan. Maybe he was taking a poop. But, uh... I'm not super confident. This might stick. Take my two damage. Urgh. I'm fierce. I'm kept the giant. Okay, we have giants too. Ours just, we have to coin out. We could take eight. That sounds dumb. The coin's really powerful in my hand, but he's about to like drop a weapon into pull doom guards, so it doesn't seem like a good time to you know hang out and eat damage. Try and go giant into giant into cube giants into cube to more giants and giants and I don't know, giant plays, man. What do you got? Faceless or giant? No, it's the weapon. We were right the first time. Man, plays around that faceless. We need tempo to not die. But there's gonna be some pressure cooking out of this. I tell you that right now. And uh, if we're gonna survive this pressure cooker, we're gonna need stuff. It's not a Doom Guard, so that's really good. <laughs> we can live through this. I, I thought a Doom Guard was coming out. Alright, he's losing in fatigue. We're ready. I can fatigue him. Let's start phases and Void Lords. We already have Blood Reaver on 10, so. I think I can fatigue him. We're not going to win on pressure. He might be able to win on pressure. There's no way we can win on pressure. So we're going to need to like turn the board and then resource trade and fatigue him. I'm ready. Yes. Oh, yes. Shit. I'm not ready for this. Now. Okay. He's doing nothing with it. We have Doomguard in their deck. Does that help me? Take his thing, pull Doomguard, does nothing. Him pulling Doomguards, meh. We just face this guy. To bump or not to bump? We want everything to go really slow. So I think we don't bump. I want it all to go slow. He's 17, we're 18. Fatigue wise. He's about to be 16 too. So we'll be 1.5 ahead and have some fatigue. 2.5. Going for a fatigue strat with no siphons and no twistings is a gamble. But I think that's how we win this game. Alright, good luck figuring this board out. Spellbreaker's not super common, but common enough, right? I'm sure there's a way to clear this that makes sense, but who knows? I'll let him figure it out. I think by the end when we're trying to fatigue him, we're really going to put in a lot of points on mental fatigue. I'm ready for this hour-long game. He's got siphons. He has some control tools. He might have a twisting. Sometimes we play one twisting, one siphon. Let's go on our handy dandy HS replay and search for siphon plus cube in the same deck and see what the warlock net deck is with those. There is at legend last three days 
410 people with just siphon and no twisting. They have 560 people with siphon and twisting. Every net deck containing siphon also contains one spellbreaker. So we should maybe be a bit afraid of the potential of spellbreaker. It seems likely in his deck. I definitely want to pop this, right? So when he hellfires, his old board dies. And I want to set up my weapon and start playing things out. We're not going to die immediately. He still has to get through everything somehow. We could try and do our own defile. One, two, three. There's no four. I mean, we can, we can make a three. No. no, I think it's better just for him to do it. Yeah, you use your cards. You might use mine. Do we have to tap? We have the ability to tap. We don't have to tap. We'll be drawing towards what? Mountain giants and stuff? I don't think I need to tap. I also don't think I don't need to tap. That's a weird spot. I have like two taps or so that I can give give a get away in the game sometime because he's drawn four more than me at this point. He hellfire pushes. We clear back. We're not dead. That's what I'm looking at. We're close to dead, but we're not all the way dead. That's where you want to be. Right in that right in that line. So many mm -hmm. possibilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see you have defile for me. Now I can defile. If he like draws into Doomguard and has Spellbreaker, we could be in trouble. You're gonna cube sit me. That could be a problem. Alright. No Doomguard. Good, no Doomguard pull. No Spellbreaker and we're in the clear. Don't Spellbreaker me, bro. No Spellbreaker. How you doing? No Faceless, how you doing? Doing good. Whew. I sweat on that one. Could still be dead. <laughs> Definitely pushing. Insane man. Another one. This one will prove very useful. Let's get Gildan out there. I want to be able to use my Gildan hero power to help me clear, as well as gain life, use my resources more efficiently. Yada yada, happy good time. Yada. Many defense. He's got 10, we're at 14. He's still, he's, he's, he's at 9 now, he just drew. He's fatiguing 4.5 faster than us. <laughs> it's the nether. Nether, it's the one scythe and one nether. One spellmaker. So, no Umbra. Oftentimes, no Prince 3 in these lists. So, I guess that's good for me. It's good that I know, I guess, but... He's fatiguing way faster. The problem is we're out of talks. And eventually he's gonna play... A lot of Doomguards. I said I shouldn't have played that for his Defile. Probably as a portal anyway. I must feed now. He is clearing this whole board, but his last real threat is Gildan. So he can't Gildan and clear the board. Which buys us a time to develop this giant, I guess. We have a Doom Guard left, and there's a Prince Taldoram. I don't know what that could pull off, but maybe something special. So I don't know if we can actually Finish removing all the threats. Serve me now. Surprises. 
Twist Daughter, I mean, that would be nice. Yeah, if we had a Twisting, we'd win this game. Interesting. I'm not sure how, but damaging that might help us do a Defile or something. Somehow we're doing this to kill Gul'dan. I'm not sure how it's gonna pan out, but we have another Hellfire. Like, maybe? If we kill this Gul'dan board, we'll win the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Uh, right. These are all at four. This goes down to a one. We get to hit one of these down to a... How do, am I getting, like, a... I can get a two by trading this in Hellfiring. And that gets a one, so then we'll have I one, two... Cruise. I need to pop something. Oh my god, sweet lord. We can get a 5 out of this and then do it a file. So we can get a 5. Uh, 6, 2, three. Where do we run this 5 into? Then these are all at 7. Then we need to bridge really hard. I don't know if we can do it. Alright. Um, what if we do... I'm not saying it! <laughs> Panic! Um... Okay. Um, this will give us a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, right? No, I missed the arrow power. I found it at the end. <laughs> yeah, it might be too late, friends. Head to the hellfire. He doesn't have the Hellfire! Oh! They've given us another try! They've brought mercy to us. Thank you, Orange Jesus. I appreciate that. We survived the onslaught! <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? Turn five, we tried this. It almost didn't work. Ooh. Now this is some sophisticated bullshit. All he has left is, like, mixtresses and stuff. Unless he runs Nazoth. If he's got Nazoth, he's got me. I, my game plan didn't work against Nazoth, but typically Nazoth isn't in cube lock lists, so... <laughs> we may still lose. I don't know. Four cards in fatigue, is that enough? I want to hold on to my cards for a little while, try and accumulate enough to get to the point where I can play the Mountain Triumph while hero powering. I mean, maybe I do just play it. How does he kill Mountain Giant? He has Dark Pact, Mixtress, Coil. Those are three guaranteed cards. And then he's got three other cards. He's got Beetle. No one plays Beetle, man. He potentially has Spellbreaker in there. I don't think he's got another Siphon. Six is so many. What is he missing? He hasn't played any Spellstones. He has double Spellstone in there, that's why. So it's Mixtress, Coil, Dark Pact, double Spellstone, and one other card. So eventually he's going to double Spellstone here in front of this giant. So the giant never connects. So if the giant never connects, we should always make sure we're hero powering. I do want him to kill it before 
he starts taking too much fatigue because I don't want him to get healed back, you know? Then I want to make sure the spell goes, stones aren't healing him. But I think me focusing on my hero virus is more important knowing that it's never going to connect. Has anyone done the map? If he has an Azoth, we're screwed. Then he's really just roping us out. If he does have an Azoth, how do we clear? We can do three, six, mm. seven. It brings back um, a two, two, a two, three, a three, nine. I don't know how we kill the three nines. <laughs> mm. Baseless. Full powered spell stone. Okay. Everything is fine. I'm almost out of cards. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, we didn't throw the game, we're still in it. Everything It's fine. A little resource intensive, but we're there. Now he has Mixtress Dark Pact. Spellstone. We know for sure. The card we didn't know was Faceless. No one plays one Dark Pack, no one plays one Mixtress, no one plays one Spellstone. I'm out of cards. Why did I play that? Now he's just gonna spellstone it. I just gave him four healing for no reason. Otherwise he would have to mixtress spellstone. So playing this was a mistake. I'm throwing the game, guys. This is a mistake. Unless he hero powers it, then it worked out. But now he can play the spellstone on it. Uh Yup, yup, we just gave him seven life for no reason. Ah! Why? Why is my brain a biscuit? I played so well, and I'm trying really hard to throw it at the end, it looks like. Oh my god. I think that, that might have just lost me the game. No, he's gonna die first still, right? Take seven and eight, that's fifteen. We take three, four, five. Yeah, that seven health just won him the game. Cause I take. Yeah, I died one turn earlier than him now. No, he takes eight plus three. Well, no, because he's healing now. He's at twelve. So yeah, he's gonna live by one now. He only runs one mixtures. I think I was dead either way. We take four, now we take five. And five plus three is eight. I gave him seven life. Without seven life, he would be alive at two and still win. So. I don't think we could win, actually. Damn. I needed to not play the giant or the thing. I just need to do nothing in hero power, man.